A few days ago, I shared with you guys a link to the 2023 dupe usage poll. This is the poll to determine whether or not you should feed dupe nat fives or you should keep them and build a second one. Let's take a look real quick at the top 10 things you should keep and then we will go over the entire poll in greater depth. You know, I was gonna do 10, but I think there's five more that are worth mentioning because they still got pretty solid results. 57.4% of the people surveyed would rather keep a dupe abelio than feed. Personally, I would rather feed a dupe abelio. Most of the reason that you're building dupes are for guild siege, and while he can be useful to have a dupe in guild siege, personally, I just wouldn't do. Number 14, Sheng Peng with 58.6%. Number 13, Bulwark with 65.1%. Number 12, Odin with 65.3%. That's roughly two-thirds of the people that voted. Number 11 is Dominic with 68.8%. Number 10 is Savannah with 70.3%. Number 9 is Perna with 71.6%. Number 8 is Bastet with 73.2%. Number 7 is CR with 75.7%. Number 6 is Molong with 75.8%, roughly three quarters of the people surveyed. Number 5 is Nana with 76.6%. Remember, a lot of these are for Guild Siege. Number 4, no surprise to anyone, this is basically a free win in Guild Siege if you build a second one of these. Wusa, 80.3%. Number 3, Feng Yan, 83.6%. This one surprised me. I figured he was going to get like 60%, not 83.6. Her hair seriously just looks like a giant poop. I mean, number two, Tiana, 83.9%. Number one, no surprise, because this was number one last year, Leo with 89.8%. 8%. That is a crazy percentage of people surveyed that would keep a second Leo for, and this is, most of this is for Guild Siege. Again, we'll discuss a little bit more right now. Now's the long drawn out part. We go through every single unit one by one and discuss their keep to feed ratio. One thing that I wanted to mention beforehand though, which I think is kind of interesting, is this is Leo from last year's. Uh, he has a, two of these are for keep, two of these are for feed. Uh, I changed that to one and one for this year, so there's only one keep and only one feed. I think that there's two things skewing the data is number one, that there's only two options instead of four, which might make, I mean, it's basically the same thing anyway. If you're going to feed for a blessing, if you're going to feed for runes, it's basically feed, feed is feed. Keep, dupe for guild siege and keep second for other content, like for example, a second Bastet, one on swift, and then the other one on triple fight. That one it kind of makes sense to have two keeps here. I did merge them both into one keep, but there's two things I think skewing the data. Number one is people's perceptions on things that we reviewed last year. Like for example, Leo was number one last year. So I think possibly more people that had voted for him as a feed last year, possibly just changed their mind because other people had done that as well. So I think that's interesting to note. And then the second one is I think it might be a psychological thing of, because I mean, the unit didn't get buffed. Meta changed a little bit, but Leo is Leo. He's always does the same thing. There's always speed units on defense for Guild Siege, because that's, you know, that's what he's for. But I think it's just interesting how possibly the way that it was presented, and then also people's opinions based on last year's results may have shifted leading to those different things, because this was 81.6% last year, and then this year it is 89%. 0.7%. Actually, there's like another vote that came in <laughs> while we were recording the video. So we have this accepting responses on. I should probably toggle this off because there might be a few more votes throughout the course of the video, but these are roughly the percentages that you can expect from this. This is just to give you a rough guide if you're questioning, if you get a dupe, whether you should feed it. I think most people are just going to feed most units anyway for uh, especially the collectors right that just want the new things they're like i don't even build half the things that i have i just want to get just want to complete the pokedex so uh let's get it started vanessa 708 responses for because you could just choose to vote for whatever you want that's why all, some of these uh numbers are different not all the same amount of people because some people are just skipping some they're like I, I don't have an opinion either way so feed for ancient crystals 18.2 percent um decided that they would keep a second one i'm assuming that uh people are doing like a tanky build for defense and or at least a small amount of people are building a tanky uh, one for defense and then more of an aggressive damage dealer for offense or pay, uh, or maybe even a tanky one for defense and then a uh, fight runes for another one just in case maybe they don't have other speed leads and they're like yeah i just use it with fight runes or something like that uh Zyros, most people would feed for ancient crystals 37 points i mean double Zyros is still a thing right it's not as effective as it used to be, but it is still a thing. 71.7, .7. we already discussed this one, mostly for Guild Siege defense. Rakan is another one. Rakan, I've had 
Rakan is such an underrated unit. He's such a great unit. There are still some nasty counters to Rakan, like Miles and Chilling. <laughs> Chilling's another nasty one. Um, Bulwark is strong against Rakan. Elsharon is strong against Rakan. But El uh, Rakan is, is a pretty solid unit. I think he's a pretty underrated unit. Except that people are just going to keep using all those units uh, against him. And now he's not going to be very underrated. Um, he's seen some good results from me on Guild Siege Defense. Juno, most people would keep a second one. She was 56.4... 56.4, I feel like that actually should be on the top 15. I had to double check, that is incorrect. She just barely didn't make it because I think the last one on the top 15 was Embellia with 57.4. So 56 is still lower than that. So she was like 17 or something like that, right? So a lot of people building a second Juno. A lot of people very, you know, very opinionated on Juno, whether or not they like to use it for Guild Siege. She is pretty solid against, um, against Nora's on defense. Or anything that does a lot of strips and debuffs, nor being nor being one of them. Uh, Rika, a lot of people building. I think Rika is fantastic, especially against Ciara, um, Ciara Orion Perna teams on Guild Siege. Again, a lot of this is for Guild Siege. Laika, people pretty split down the middle for Laika. He uh, just barely didn't make it to the top, uh, the top fifteen or whatever, the top fifteen or whatever. Uh, Mei Hao Wang, most people would feed for Ancient Crystals. I think he's also pretty solid for, uh, Guild Siege Offense, but I'm crazy like that. Veljewel, I can't really see a, a use for Guild Siege Offense for Veljewel. I can see a use for... I really... Personally, as someone that has double Veljewels built, at least two, I don't use the second one, really. <laughs> so, most of the time, I don't even use the first one, but yeah, I could definitely see the feed for Ancient Crystals. But he's such a cool unit. He's a cool-looking unit. Whatever. Kumar, underappreciated unit. Underappreciated unit. I think he's uh, I think he's pretty solid. But most people would feed him, of course. Rocky, most people... I expected this to be different because there's so many siege defense that have revives that I expected, especially with Rocky's buff where she does more hits now with skill... Well, her buff to skill 2 and skill 3. Uh, not in the last balance patch, but in the, in the past several, she got buffs to skill 2 and skill 3. Um, I expected this to be much higher because she is more useful for Guild Siege than uh, than this is really showing. This is really giving her credit for. Most people would feed a second Chiwu. Uh, Brandia, I fi I figured this was actually gonna be higher. I can't I can't imagine keeping more than one Brandia. But if you guys would keep, I mean that's just my opinion. If you guys keep a uh, second Brandia, let me know what you think that uh, she should be. Like what? What the what the logic and what the reasoning is? I sound like I'm just as, what is your logic, dummies? No, <laughs> what the what the reasoning is for why you feel second brandy is uh, is effective? So Oki, okay, most people feed for ancient crystals. Segment, most people feed for ancient crystals. Daphnis, same situation. I expected Daphnis to be a little bit higher. I mean, he is 19. I expected him to be a little higher on that. But again, some of these are also more of a keep depending on how easy it is to get them skilled up or if they don't need scalps at all like for example bulwark really you can use him without being skilled up um the other one oh my god we'll get to him in a second but there's another one that you could use yeah he doesn't need scalps at all he needs crap runes he needs uh he's a, the water slayer which i forever cannot remember his name until I see it. I'm like, oh, right, that's uh, it's the B thing. It's Borgnine. I don't know why I keep forgetting that name. It sounds like a cyborg vampire. That's why I'm like, that's not really the name. Uh, but things that are, for example, things that you can fuse scalps for are going to be a little bit more, people give them a little bit more. Like Feng Yang, you can fuse scalps for him fairly easily. I mean, it does still require some uh, some essences. You have to farm the essence dungeons if you don't get enough from the like guild content, whatever. Um, but those are a little bit more, uh, people more apt to build dupes of those. Uh, Helena, most people would feed for crystals. Ophelia, same thing. A little bit more effective because people use her in Guild Siege sometimes. Uh, Bellinus, actually, I was expecting a little bit more people to feed for ancient crystals there. Bale, more people would really, I see, I, some of these I'm, I'm surprised by. I expected more people to feed here, and I expected less people to feed here because I feel like he could be more effective in, again, Guild Siege. Uh, Masha, I also expected her to have slightly higher for Guild Siege defense. Uh, Jogun, I don't think that's really surprising. I thought maybe Douglas might have higher, but people pretty split down the middle for I mean, really pretty split 50.1 and 49.9 two more votes and it's going to be 50 50 uh what do we have carnal is the next one i think it's uh not bad to have a i mean you still have to scale him up because he does 
I don't remember the this the uh, activation rate uh, upgrades on the scalps, but yeah, it's still that's still something I would want to have completely scaled up. Uh, what else do we have? Tamo. Most people would feed a second Tamo. Coco, same situation. John, same. Oh, but you don't want three Johns for arena offense. <laughs> Wait, did we do a three John? I have three Johns. Did we do a three John video? Because we should. If I, if we didn't, we should. Nora, I was actually expecting this to be a little bit higher as well, because she's really good for siege content, and also it's um, it's pretty easy to get a second one of her just because Riley is feasible. Uh, Carlos, most people would feed. Ren, most people. <laughs> Ren's like the entire thing is Ren's like to feed the first one. Oh no no no, that's Zen that I'm thinking about. <laughs> Probably just like I'm just feeding the first one. I don't even need a dupe. I'm gonna feed the first one too. Claire, most people would feed the dupe. Claire, she has uh, high, well uh, no that that's the, uh, the Sonia. That's the other one that has the high rune requirements. Claire is the fire one. These are all the fire that we're going through first, and then we'll go through the, the rest of them. Pure vanilla. I never use the fire pure vanilla. Uh, she's going to get buffed. Or whatever cookie gender. I don't know. It's going to get buffed. I'm sure fire holly berry. Most people would feed 89.4. Zima, 85.8% would feed. 14% would, uh, would keep a dupe. Camila, keep dupes. Personally, I... Like, I get it. I know that it's a high level. People always love to tell me, like, oh, it's a high level. You don't even know. For Russia, like, I know. I know, guys. I know that people are doing it. I just, I still feel like she's, aside from that one area, is like, she's a frustration for people for a limited amount of time in one piece of content. Like, I think that she, as a Nat 5 that's been in the game, is one of the poster childs for the game, she should be more valuable than just being useful for, like, 30 minutes, if that one day of the week in one area of the game that many people don't even play anymore so um that's just my opinion but i do realize that people are using her for that uh situation i just think that it's the same thing with uh christina is she's effective in some guild siege matchups for guild siege offense however it's just i i feel like they should be useful in more areas and i'm still going to argue that because i feel like they are nat fives they should be useful in more areas uh than just one each for a limited amount of time if that. Uh, Vared, most people would feed for ancient crystals. I know some people just got an army of Vareds. Uh, little Tay Tay, Water Chimera, most people would feed for ancient crystals. Praha, this is something people like to have dupes of. Forget. I think Praha is a very effective unit. There's a lot that she does. She's mathematically very effective, I feel. Uh, Annabelle is another one that I feel like she just does a lot of stuff. So I'm not surprised to see a lot of people keeping dupes of those. Uh, they're not quite easy to skill up, but Chow. Actually, I expect people to not appreciate Chow. I know there's a lot of people that are like, oh, Chow's not good enough, Chow's not good enough. I wanted a Chow for so long, I finally got one, and I was just, I'm just like, no, I'm just gonna play with Chow. That's, I actually use Chow quite a bit. I use, uh, N not Nora, Nana, Riley, Chow for Guild Siege offense versus some of those faster, more aggressive Guild Siege defenses. So I'm personally a, uh, a Chow fan, she how most people would feed a second she how area. I expected this to be higher, actually. I expect this to be like 90 10, 75 25. Okay, I'm all ears. I, I listen, I listen to the comments. Sometimes I shake my head and I say that ain't right, but, but I will listen to them. I will at least give uh, at least give you guys uh, the, the benefit of the doubt to give me some information if you feel a certain way on things. Chandra 71.9%. Some people building dupes for uh, Guild Siege. Beth, 86. Oh, Beth is so good, though. She does all the defense breaks. All of them. Wusa is just an easy win. He has super high speed. He has sustain. He has the shields and heals. He has immunity. He's just the he, perfect support. Maybe not the perfect support. He's a wonderful support unit. Uh, and also, if you have not as great runes, you can kind of get away with some stuff with his very, very high base speed. Uh, Alicia is another one. I think Alicia's a great unit. I wouldn't build a second Alicia, so I'm not surprised by this. Poseidon! Well, again, it's another... It's like a Galleon, Tiana, Poseidon for offenses for Guild Siege. I know people are doing it. Or or similar similar comps as well. Bassett is another one for... Number one for Guild Siege. Number two for 
Uh, you can build a Swift Bastet. You can build, I think we mentioned this earlier, like a Swift Bastet or a Fight Bastet or like a Devil Nemesis Bastet. So there's a lot of different builds that you can, this is not necessarily just for Guild Siege, this one, because uh, there's a lot of different builds that you could do. Maybe not a lot, there's a few different builds you can do for Bastet. Samoth is another one. You could do multiple Samoths that just die and come back from the dead and then do crap tons of damage to your opponents. So that is, uh, that is why I've seen multi Samoth offenses that are just their intent is to die and kill things. Uh, what else? Mo Long. This one was a little bit surprising to see how much, because of course he's got, he's got the HP lead. He's good in Guild Kata. He's good in Guild Siege. However, I was not expecting to be 75. I was expecting like maybe like 60, like 50 to 60. Was not expecting 75. Uh, Amelia 45.3. I just feel like for Amelia, you have to actually skill her up. There's just immunity units that are easier to skill up like Lulu or like Riley that... I mean, she does also have the defense buff. So Feng Yin, Amelia, and X is, is solid enough uh, offense. And I'm sure that that's what they're, that's what they're doing is they're doing Amelia, Feng Yin, and, uh, and, and Bulwark maybe. So, or whatever, whatever people's, uh, people's favorites are. Josephine, this is another one solid for guild content. Abelio, this is an, I was surprised to see this many people would keep a uh, dupe Abelio. Personally, I, I wouldn't, but this one, not surprised at all. He requires no skill ups and he's very effective in guild content. Uh, Belial is, oh, all right. We're going to have to, we have to go back for whatever. For the reasons that I always do, I looked at Bale and I said, oh wow, I'm surprised this isn't higher. And I was thinking, where's Bale? Yeah, I was thinking Belial. So I see Bale and I'm like, wow, this many people will feed a second Bale. Yeah, I would feed a second Bale too. For whatever reason, I was thinking Belial when I saw the Bale. And I don't think it's the first time, or the second time, or the fifth time, or the twentieth time. So yeah, Belial is a better one to have a dupe of than Bale. I wouldn't keep a second Bale. I would keep a second Belial because he could be he could be pretty effective in, in again in guild content. But how many times am I say no, don't don't I don't want to count how many times I'm going to say guild content. Uh, Barbara seventy three point three would feed a second Barbara. I just I think she's a a, a fun unit, so I like to keep dupes of her. I don't necessarily always use the dupes of her, but I keep the dupes of her. Uh, hey gang, most people would feed. More people are 50-50. I expected this to be a little bit higher, actually. Um, Borg9, surprised to see this solo. He is, you don't need skills for him. I actually don't even have my first one skilled up. I have a second one built. Neither of them are skilled up. I use them. They're effective. They're, I mean, I'm sure they're better when they're skilled up. You know, a little bit more damage and higher uh, activation rates for the provokes and defense break but for me i think this is a this is a pretty decent unit and i would expect more people to have uh kept second ones because he's he's just so easy to use with very little effort like you don't have to put premium runes on him so and he's good against tanky defenses uh shizuka 44 44 kind of on the fence with shizuka nana is another it's a great one for siege defense because it's basically just uh makes your siege defense four units instead of three for the most part uh is another reason perna is great for a siege defense is another reason that the um <laughs> the, the beast riders are g these things uh, <laughs> they flight attendants you know flight this is the exit doors are okay let's continue let's continue i don't the miles people are pretty on the fence i think is a great unit for both seat uh both siege offense and defense so, although Leo counters Miles already because limits the speed, limits the damage that Miles does. Um, Aaliyah, really, 27.9 would keep a dupe uh, Aaliyah. I'm sure it's for the same reasons as they're keeping dupe Amelia's. It's sustain, it's immunity, and it's defense buffs. So, uh, Liam, 14.9 would keep a dupe. I, I really like Liam. I didn't like Liam at first. I was not a Liam fan. He got buffed and I was like, this is great. He's he's fantastic. He's wonderful. Uh, I really like Liam. I think he has actually... I don't pick him often in RTA, but I think he has one of the higher win rates in RTA for my comp because people are not expecting him. So I bring him out with the... Uh, I bring him out with Shogun and it has been pretty effective. 
Uh, what else do we have? Minato, 20.9. I expect this to be a little bit higher. Amber, 18.9. Um, I did, I, I built a second Amber, I never even bothered using her just yet, I will, but I, I just didn't, uh, she does a, quite a lot of damage based on speed, multi-hits with, uh, with skill too, so she could do, she could do a lot of damage. Um, Adriana, Water Pure Vanilla, 22 po I expected this one to be a little bit higher, actually. Manon, Water Holly Berry, it's pretty high. I expect, cause this is, this does, this does quite a bit, and also the Oblivion. So I expect this to be a little bit higher, but uh, Zabala, this is the puppeteer, seventy-six point one. I I I would probably feed a second puppeteer because you need the skillups on her, and she's not. She can be useful in Guild Siege, but it's like kind of like a control team. So she's more useful to. She's a support unit that makes the rest of her team. Well, she's not. not I was gonna say she makes the rest of her team more effective, but like she does quite a decent amount by herself. She does the CC, she denies the opponent's turns, and then she also increases cooldowns. But she doesn't really do like a lot of damage, so. Uh, whatever, let's continue. Jameer, 41.9 would build a second Jameer. Interesting, I was surprised that that's high. Uh, but I don't remember how uh, some of these were last year. Tashar, most people would feed for Ancient Crystals. Zagbar, most people would feed for Ancient Crystals. Ciara, also it's good to have a, a second build of Ciara. Not even just the, uh, not even just like, oh, we'll keep a second for guild content. Is like, you could, you could run one more damage. You can run one more turn cycling and sustain and tankiness. So, uh, Charlotte, most people, 69.5 would feed a second Charlotte. Leo, absolutely crazy here. 90%, almost 90% would keep dupe Leo. Xingzhe, 41.8. Good on both offense and defense in certain situations. Aladriel, most people would... I'm surprised he's even 15.8%. Uh, I feel like that should be like... Well, again, guilt siege defense, but... Um, I don't know. I don't, I don't see too many people getting that excited about multiple Aladriels. I don't know anyone that's built a... Se uh, that's not true. I was going to say I don't know anyone that's built a second Aladriel. In the beginning of the game, that was a thing that people were doing, but I really don't see too many people building multiple Ladriels recently. Ritesh, 81.4. Ritesh still good for Siege defense, though. Uh, Ethna, 70.8 would feed for Ancient Grim. Most, most of these people are feeding for Ancient Grim. Really? 17.1 would build a second Pungbek. Why does it sound like Uncle Roger, kind of? Really? <laughs> Hello, niece and nephew. Uh, it's 83.6%. Triton, 72 point... Uh, would keep a second Tiana. Uh, and if if you're just trying to outspeed and cleave, you don't really need to worry about uh, devil monning her completely. Because she's going to do her thing regardless. Most of the time, if the match lasts a certain... If the match lasts, like, more than five turns, then you might be losing it anyway and her effectiveness in the amount of skills that she has goes down because she is a cleave unit so that, i mean that's just the that's just how it is with cleave unit cleave support units um same thing with uh with bastard as well is if you're just if if you need to win immediately and the longer the match takes the more you're going to lose anyway although bastard bastard being skilled up has definitely won me some won me some matches and won the opponents some matches over the course of time. More for RTA than anything else, but... Uh, Triton, more people. Really? 27-7 would keep a dupe Triton. 11.3... Why? Why 11.3 would keep a dupe Hathor? I don't even know, guys. I don't I don't know what to make of these dupe Hathor Ganymede uh, choices. I'm cur I'm really curious why, why people would build uh, dupe Hathors and dupe Ganymedes. Thing in. Like this is obvious, it's good for guild content. But I think it's solid solid uh, wind tank and also does additional damage, has sustain, has a leader skill. So but the Ganymede. Just personal opinion. Diana. Eh, kind of on the fence. Like two thirds would feed. One third is like, no, I really like her toxicity in uh in siege offense. Louise, another one is she's got a siege leader skill, so. 34.34.3% uh, would keep for that. Tyrannus, 36.2. Again, he's a universe siege defense because he will give 
It's basically like fighting four units on defense. He revives. Anything that has a revive is going to do well here because siege defense, that's just how, that's how it always is. Uh, Odin, again, it's a revive. So 65.4%. He's a fast, aggressive unit that will uh, kill things and come back from the dead. Christina, no surprise there. Mephisto, would I build a second Mephisto? I mean, again, he... Like we just said for Guild Siege Defense is things revive and he's effective against things that revive. So I can see the 26.3% appreciate how he can stop things from reviving. And he can be effective on, on Siege Defense against Nanas and against uh, Tyrannus and Odin and Perna. So why am I losing my voice? <laughs> I don't know why I'm losing my voice. Savannah is another... She basically has two lives. So it's like fighting... Uh, an additional unit on defense, Shung Pung. I'm surprised to see him this high. For the same reason, I'd be, I think Shung Pung is a great unit. He's one of my favorite units in the entire game. But I kind of was expecting this to not be this high, personally. Same thing with Ganymede. I was expecting it to not be that high. And I get it. That's for skill resets on things. Um, I just, I'm surprised. I am surprised that those things were as highly rated to build second ones off. Not even the first ones, because we're not talking about the first units. We're talking about dupes of these things. So, Cashmere, most people, <laughs> most people would feed. Some people would even feed the first one after they've been frustrated the 10th time on him not working. Sagar, 81 to 19. Zhao, 83. She's such a great unit in RTA. She's not as great in uh, in Guild Siege. Also, the AI will not They'll, they'll be like, oh, I have the the uh, the thing on. Suppression. I'm clearly not good with names today, but if the enemies have suppression on them, the AI, from what I have seen, will not use skills that have cooldowns because it doesn't want to take that extra damage and put the cooldowns on increased cooldown. So, not as effective in Guild Siege as it is in RTA. Momo, 22%. She is better in, or, uh, she's better in Guild Siege recently. Uh, Oliver... 36.8%. People still using all these cooldown skills in uh, in Siege. More so than anything. Or actually, that's not necessarily correct. Because this is keep dupe for Guild Siege or second alternate built for other content. The same thing with Vanessa is there's a 33% speed lead. So this could be people just using two different builds for RTA or for Arena. Not necessarily uh, for other content. So, uh, not necessarily for Guild Siege. And maybe I should consider that for... Uh, Shung Pung and Ganymede, the things that I'm like, why would people, but I'm like, it's not necessarily for Guild Siege. So I will correct myself on that, is it's not necessarily that people are building dupes for Guild Siege, it's just that they're building dupes for other content in general. They may be building one kind of Ganymede for a certain team and another kind of Ganymede for a different team for offense or something like that, or Shung Pung, like a tanky Shung Pung or a damaged Shung Pung based on whatever team that they're fighting against. Uh, Dominic, this is another one that's popular on Siege defense, but also great on Siege offense. Zen, I'm surprised any of this is... <laughs> second, you would keep a second Zen. I'm curious, 8.2% of the, of the populace, of the, of the people polled would keep second Zen. I'm curious as to why. 86 to 13 on the Sonia, Angela, Wind Pure Vanilla, 93 point. Like, there's some of these names. I'm not going to remember. Angela and Jade and... I don't know. It sounds like Mortal Kombat. I think Jade is a Mortal Kombat character. Whatever. <laughs> I get off topic. 93.3. 90.9 for Jade the Wind, Holly Berry. Smicer, 89%. So that is this for that is this. For this. That is the 2023 dupe usage poll. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully... This gives you guys some feedback on the current state of whether or not most of the community would feed things, feed dupe nat fives, or keep dupe nat fives for other content. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will see you as always in the next one.